Yo guys, what is up? It is Crips and welcome to another Destiny video. So today I'm here with Warlock Fast Sets number 4. Now if you don't know and you're new to this channel, I will show off 4 Warlock sets of my own and then 3 winners from the Discord. Now if you want a chance to be featured in the next video, which will be a Hunter Fashion Sets, go down to Video Submissions and submit your Hunter Sets. And don't forget to put your armor and shaders used. As well as this, I am also trying to hit 5000 subs by the end of the year, so please consider subscribing. And also guys, I also have a Instagram which I'm posting to more often now. I'm putting some edits in, so please go and check it out at crips.yt. There's also a link in the description. But yeah, without further ado, let's just get straight into the video. So if you want to know all the arms and shaders for the, all the sets, they will all be in the description. Now the helmet used for this set is the Steeplechase Hood Ornament, which is this season Season Pass, Season of the Hunt. The arms are used the Necrotic Grip Exotic. So the Necrotic Grip, um, you can get this from Legendary and Master Lost Sectors. Now if you're new to the game and don't know what these are, upon completing um, Europa's campaign, which requires Beyond Light, these Lost Sectors will open up. Now if you don't have any Lost Sectors, you have to complete them first for them to show up. But these are on a rotation, so just complete all the Lost Sectors on Cosmodrone and on Europa and then each day they'll rotate. So as you can see here, this is chest armor and this one's head armor. So say if you wanted the new exotic helmet for the um, hunter, then all you'd have to do is do this solo. Now, cause this is legend, this is 1250. And if you do it solo, you have a rare chance of exotic helmet, but because this is 1280 is harder, this gives you a common chance to get an exotic chest plate if solo. And these have to be solo for there to be an exotic drop. But yeah, that's pretty much how you get the new exotics from this uh, expansion. Now the chest plate is the steeplechase investment ornament from the Season of the Hunt Pass. The boots are the Legacy of Boots from the Deepstone Crypt Raid. And the bond is the steeplechase bond which is also from the pass. Now the shader that goes over all the armor except the bond is monochromatic. And monochromatic drops from bright engrams and can sometimes be sold at the brighter store. But yeah, this is the first set. Let me know what you think. I think the Ghost and the Sparrow goes very well with this, as long with Lumina. I just think it's a really cool set. Just let me know what you think in the comments below. So this is the second set for the Warlock, and I decided to go with the black and red uh, color scheme for this set. Now, as you can see, the helmet is also the Steeplechase hood from the Season of Hunt Pass. The arms are the Legacy of Gloves from the Deepstone Crypt Raid. The chest is the Legacy of Robes from the Deepstone Crypt Raid. The boots are the Transversive Steps Exotic with the Path to Convergence ornament. And the bond is the Forbidden Visage bond from Eververse right now. So if you really want this bond, it's a really neat looking bond. I think it's probably one of the best we've seen. You want to go into Eververse right now, this week, and uh, purchase it from the Brightness section for 1200 but yeah, that's pretty much all the armor for the set. Now as for the shaders, the helmet and the bond both use the New Age Black Armory. If you don't know, this came from forges from dismantling forge weapons and armor. Now because the forge is no longer in the game, this is sadly no longer acquirable. The arms and the chest are both Skeletal Shader. Now these both came from the Festival of the Lost Halloween event. This just passed and you'll have to wait until next Halloween to get them. And the boots are the Amphis Veil, which is from Bright Engrams and can sometimes be sold at the Brighter store. But yeah guys, just let me know what you think of the second set, along with the Ghost Shell and the Outbreak. Just let me know how it all looks. Now this is the third set for the Warlock. Now what I tried with this was using the new Dawn Chorus Exotic Helmet from the Legendary and Master Lost Sectors. So this is the one of the two new Exotics for the Warlock. The other one being the Korok Grip. Now, this is a very difficult exotic to pair with armor, mainly because it just shaders as one color, not a mixture. So th literally the only part is the back part that gets the secondary color. So it's just pretty much just the primary color, which makes it really difficult to pair with a lot of armor because it's just so plain compared to most armor. Now, um, something I recommend is just sticking with like a gold or something with some like shine to it. It just really helps with this helmet. So as for the armor, the arms I'm using is from the Dragonfly Regalia set in the Eververse Archive. The chest and boots are both from the Lux armor set in the Eververse Archive. And the bond I'm using is the Valkyrian bond from Season of the Worthy Pass. Now if you don't have this, you can also use the Forbidden Visage, which is the new armor set in the Eververse. 
like I said earlier, this can be found in the Bright Dust store this week for 1200 Bright Dust, and that looks just as good as this. So, the shaders you want to use with this armor set is Gold Leaf for the helmet and arms. Gold Leaf comes from the Menagerie, which is no longer in the game, so you sadly can longer get this. The chest you want to use Metro Shift, which comes from the Bright Engrams and Bright Dust store. The boot shoes and fist veil, which also come from Bright Engrams and the Bright Dust store. And the bond uses Skeletal. Although for this bond, the Valkyrian, you don't really need a shader. Um, it doesn't change too much. But um, like going monochromatic will just make the glow brighter, so you could go with monochromatic. But as for the Forbidden Visage from the Eververse, I'd recommend you using Skeletal, mainly because, as I'll show you right now, it makes it gold. Now Skeletal comes from the Festival Lost event, which is a Halloween event, so if you've already missed it, you can no longer get it. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the third set. So this is my fourth and final set before I move on to the Discord winners. Now this set uses the Fell Winter's Helm, along with the arms being the Steeplechase Gloves ornament from the Season of the Hunt Pass, with the chest being the Steeplechase Vestment, which is also from the pass, the boots are the Virtuous Boots ornament, which are from the Season of Dawn Pass, and the bond is the Steeplechase Bond, which is from this season's pass. Now as for the shaders, you want to use Streaming Spectrum on the head, arms, chest and boots, and for the bond you want to use nothing. Now this Streaming Spectrum drops from the Last Wish Raid, by dismantling weapons and armor drops from it. I really like this set, it just blends really nicely together. Just let me know what you all think of my set and the ones from the Discord. Now before I move on to the Discord winners, I want to make a quick announcement. So someone in Discord named you, he was also featured in the last video, um, has an Instagram which you can go and follow on screen right now and he does commissions for art and these look absolutely incredible. As you can see on screen right now, this is his quick little page and if you want to purchase any art from him, um, then please go ahead and join the Discord and message him through there or message him through the Instagram that I provided in the description. But yeah, please go and support him. Now it's time to move on to the Discord winners. So the first winner of the Discord is Hinra. Congratulations, this is an absolutely amazing looking set. The name of this set is Star Aligner. Really nice name. Now the helmet he uses is the Shadow's Mind from the Crown of Sorrows Raid. This is no longer in the game. The arms use the Channel and Wraps Coda from the Prophecy Dungeon, which is now back in the game. The chest uses the Winds of Sacred Dawn Exotic. The boots use the Lux Souls from the Eververse Archive. And the bond uses the Anneal Shaper bond from the Forges. Now this is no longer obtainable as Forges are no longer in the game. Now as for the shaders, the helmet, arms and bond all use Kallus' Shadow. Now Kallus' Shadow dropped from the Spyro Stars Prestige, which is no longer in the game. And the chest and boots use Metro Shift, which can drop from Bright Engrams and can be sold at the Brightest store. I just want to say congratulations because this set looks absolutely incredible. Uh, big congratulations to Hinra. But yeah, that's pretty much the first winner of the Discord. Now the next set that comes from the Discord is from Gangelord Genji. Now he calls this set the Gothlock set, which I think is a really cool name. It, it rhymes, it goes off the tongue really nicely, so um, yeah, anyway, the helmet uses the Steeplechase hood ornament from the Season of the Hunt Pass, the arms and the Necrotic Grip Exotics, the chest is the Blood Lineage ornament from the Festival of the Lost Eververse set, the boots are the Steeplechase boots from the Season of the Hunt Pass, and the bond is the blood lineage ornament which is also from the festival of the lost eververse set now as for the shaders on the helmet he uses bloody tooth this drops from bright engrams and can be sold at bright dust store now as for the arms he uses skeletal which came from the festival of the lost so you're gonna have to wait until next halloween to be able to get this the chest and the boots both use ancient republic which both come from bright engrams and can be sold at the bright dust store and the bond uses lawful neutral which is from this season's season pass, which is season the hunt. But yeah, this is pretty much the set. It looks really cool. I just love the goth theme of it. And yeah, really nice job, man. Now the third and final Discord winner is Reborn Kin. Now, just want to point out that this was extremely hard to pick from. There were so many amazing sets and similar sets, but ultimately what won you here is the theme of it, keeping to a theme. It's really nice that you based around the Aizenagi and I just think it's really cool. 
Now moving on to the armor of the set, the helmet uses the hood of the XL which comes from Charles of Osiris. Now this has been postponed at the moment but um, it's on a rotation so if you're new to trials basically you get a reward of 3 wins, 5 wins, 7 wins and flawless. Each week it rotates armor pieces and weapons to each win so the helmet could be available on the first week or maybe the second week and then it could be available like a couple weeks later it's not guaranteed to be there every week so you just gotta check the loot table now as for the arms is the blood lineage gloves ornament now the blood lineage set was from the festival of the lost the chest uses the forbidden visage robes which is this season's ever set the boots are the virtuous boots which come from the season of dawn pass and the bond is the blood lineage bond which is from festival of the lost now the shaders used on the helmet uses procurse of x chrome on the arms it uses monochromatic on the chest it uses monochromatic on the boots it uses monochromatic and on the bond it uses procurse of x chrome now as for the shaders procurse of x chrome and monochromatic both drop from bright engrams and can be sold at the brighter store but yeah that's pretty much the set um, I don't know if I've got to point out, it's named Izanagi Voyager. I'm sorry if I didn't say it at the start. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for the insane support recently. We've literally smashed it in terms of subs and views. It is crazy. So I just want to say thank you all so much again. Please go and check out the Discord in the top of the description. And yeah, thank you all for watching and I'll see you on the next video.